Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of graphing, specifically how we can graph from a table, and we'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So we have our basic coordinate plane here, our x-axis and our y-axis. All of our x and y values are positive, and we have a table. So this table is showing us the prices of one ticket, two ticket, three ticket, four ticket, five ticket. Now we're not trying to figure out what is the price of one ticket. They give that to us right here. One ticket cost $1.50. So as you can tell here, we're just adding $1.50 each time. And so we don't necessarily need to find what's the rule. What we need to do is we need to find a way to graphically represent this information. We need to transfer this information from the table to the graph, which is a big piece of learning we do in fifth grade. Well, this is probably going to be the easiest thing. Now, eventually, you might be able to just go straight from the table to the graph. What I like to do is I like to come up with some ordered pairs. Because we know that our ordered pairs here are going to follow this pattern, x, comma, y. So our first value is going to be the x value. And that is our horizontal value. And so we're going to go side to side. Our second value is our y value, that is our vertical value. We're going to go up and down there. So these are our two values. And typically when you see different tables like this, they will go ahead and give you, if you look in there, you notice there's already a little x, there's already a little y. Sometimes they'll be in parentheses, sometimes they'll just be italicized. But if you are ever asked to take information from a table, put it onto a graph, most likely they've already labeled the x and the y for you. Which means if I wanted to bring out this coordinate pair right here, take a look. My x, my first x value is going to be 1. My first y value is going to be 1.50. Let's just make that 1.5. We're going to drop that 0 because we know that 5 tenths is the same as 50 hundredths. We're also going to drop the dollar sign. So let's do that all the way down. My second x value is 2. My second y value is, I don't need the 3.0 or 3.00. It's just going to be whole numbers, 2 and 3. Now this third pair is going to have an x value of 3, but my y value is going to be a decimal, 4.5 or 4 and 5 tenths. And then I've got my fourth value, which is 4 and 6. And then you notice this pattern, this fifth value, all the odd ones have a decimal. So it's going to be 5 with my x value, 7.5 as my y value. All right, so now I've got some ordered pairs. So now I can start putting this on the corner plane. Remember, we put our x value first, our y value second. So let's start with this first one. My first x value is going to be 1, so that's going to be right around here. And then 1.5. I'm going to need to remember that 1.5 if we think on a number line here. If that's 1, that's 2. For 1.5, 1 and 5 tenths, it's the same thing as 1 and a half. Because 1 and 5 tenths reduces, simplifies to 1 and a half. So I'm just going to put that right here. And it's going to be halfway between 1 and 2 on the x value of 1. And I can label that right here. 1, comma, 1.5. This next one's going to be a little bit easier because it's whole numbers. So I have my x value of 2 right here, my y value of 3 right here. So you put those together. And what you're going to notice happening is we are going to get a straight line. This is what we call a linear relationship because it's the same price for each ticket. It's 1.5. Each of these dots are going to be 1.5 away if you're going up and down. They're going to be 1 away if you're going side to side. This next one's going to be a little bit trickier. I've got my 3. The x is easy. 4.5, though, is going to be right here in between my 4 and my 5. So let's put that right there. So my x value of 3, 4 and 5 tenths is my y value. 4 and 6 is my next one. That's going to be pretty easy because they're both whole numbers. There's my 4, there's my 6. Make sure we're doing them in order. It goes right there. So I've got a 4, x value, 6 is my y value. Let's finish this off with 5. And then 7.5. So that's going to be right up here. So I've got a 5, a 7, and 5 tenths.